I've never been one to set realistic goals. I've always wanted the best. I've always wanted to be the best. And I've always continued to put the work behind that. But I want you guys to realize that when people tell you to set realistic and obtainable goals, I truly believe those people, without maybe realizing it, are insulting you because they don't think that your fragile little ego can take the heartache of disappointment. And the truth is, guys, the reason I say I set huge goals isn't just because I think I can accomplish them. It's because I know that if I don't accomplish them, those unrealized expectations hurt. The disappointment that you feel when you set massive goals and don't hit them is a great thing, all right? You guys have to understand that pain teaches. When you feel pain, it should not be something that you wallow in and that you cry about. Maybe you cry about it for a day, okay? That's acceptable. But the point is, is that when you have something that doesn't go the way that you want, that is a trigger for you to go out and create a situation where it is impossible for you to not get what you want. And that's the difference between people who succeed and people who don't. People who succeed understand that pain teaches them to level the f up. They don't whine and cry and bitch about how shit's unfair. Dude, I could just as easily be a 39-year-old man crying about the girl that broke my heart when I was 17. Like most people do. But what did I do? And you could say this is petty, you could say it's whatever, but I operate from the dark side, motherfuckers. And that means when people do wrong to me, I make sure that I not only do what it is that they don't believe in me for, but that I rub it in their face later on in life. I was not a motivated high school student. I was not a super achiever in school. I wasn't voted most likely to succeed. Okay? But that experience for me caused enough pain to kick me in the ass and say, you know what? I'm gonna fucking shove it down that just fucking throat. And you know what? That's what I did. And that, that one instance probably carried me for the first three or four years of our business. Three or four years, I was able to think back and be like, dude, I'm gonna show her. I'm gonna this, I'm gonna that. And you could say, oh, well, that's insecurity. If you were secure, you know what? I'm glad I was insecure. I'm glad I was in that situation because I take the pain and I put it into productive action. I take every negative thing that someone says to me, about me, or whatever it is they believe or don't believe about me, and I use it to go out and do shit.